Members, there's been an enormous momentum over the last decade and a half towards reforming the prosecution and sentencing of minor drug offenses. This comes from a shared acknowledgement that the war on drugs has been a costly failure with little to no effect on the drug trade, but doing significant harm to people who use and who have been caught up with small amounts of drugs. Despite this acknowledgement, under the status quo, immigrants are being punished for their good faith participation in diversion programs for minor drug crimes, a program intended to serve as an alternative to incarceration. Deportations are an unintended consequence of a change to deferred entry of judgment and families should not be torn apart and lives uprooted because of unintended consequences. Prior to 1997, California utilized pre-trial diversion when dealing with minor non-violent drug offenses. Even though there was no evidence that pre-trial diversion did not work, the state switched to deferred entry of judgment. Consequently, many immigrants have either been deported or denied U.S. citizenship simply because the immigrant pled guilty to an offense that the state no longer recognizes due to the completion of the diversion program. This bill aligns law, state law with California's values, ending a practice that is a relic of the failed war on drugs. At the same time, this bill rectifies an injustice suffered by immigrants. It also accomplishes a long overdue reform in the way minor drugs crimes are prosecuted in the state of California. This bill will amend Penal Code 1000 to allow for pre-trial diversion when a judge determines a person would benefit from participation. This enables a focus on the crimes that are truly urgent on gang and organized crime and drug trafficking rather than the destruction, waste of resources on aggressive persecution of extremely minor drug offenses. This bill will also address the inequity in a system that punishes immigrants much more harshly for minor drug offenses for which the consequences despite widespread acknowledgement for the reform can result in deportation, incarceration, and the long-term separation of families. Any person who adheres to the conditions of a pretrial diversion program, if they don't adhere, the, pro, the judge can reinstate. But this says, if you complete the program for which you were intended, then the state should let that go just like they do for everybody else, just because uh, the, the federal still recognizes it and then you can be deported. That's just not fair, members, or right. I respectfully ask for your I vote.